Molly. I look so rough right now. So uh, this kind of like a cute Easter bunny. So happy Easter weekend, everybody. Hope you're all, you know, doing Eastery things like coloring eggs and making baskets. Bro, sis. I did something today that I haven't done since I was a teenager. But I think I just needed it from this week and my brain injury. I will, guess what time I woke up today? Gas. Now, I'm normally somebody who gets three to four hours of sleep a night, okay? Well, let me just throw it out there. I slept. I went to bed at midnight about last night and I woke up at almost 1 p.m. <laughs> I was in a coma. I've never slept that long in years. I don't, I just feel great though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like, oh my God. I feel like a whole brand new me. This is amazing. Anyway. Tomorrow, I have to go to my dad's for Easter. Tonight, I'm just going to stay up late and clean and do laundry and smoke a joint. Because <laughs> I am so sore. We had three people quit at work this week. Three. And shit rolls downhill. And guess who's the last stop at my company? Hi. I was like, help. Oh wait, I'm the life wrap. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. How do we always get in a situation? Why am I always the anchor? Why do I always gotta handle all the fucking shit? Just get it done. I just like pull out miracles out of my asshole and nobody cares or and or sees it. Go full out beast mode, just getting shit done, dying inside. Like, oh my god, you know, I can't complain. I'm not supposed to be complaining. Like, I should be proud of the fact that I can be counted on and that I can handle shit. And I just suck it up and I do it. I bitch a little bit because I'm a fucking, I'm a truth teller. I will do it as I'm doing. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit, guys. Just so you know, I'm doing it, but this is fucking bullshit. And I don't like it and or appreciate this bullshit. But I like this company, and I know we're trying to grow and get it off the ground, and you're going to have to eat shit for a while. But I don't fucking like it. <laughs> My bosses are like, okay, Liz, but we hear you. I'm like, good. <sighs> and it still gets done. But they let me bitch. Do you know why they let me bitch? Because it's done at the end of the day. And they also agree. They're like, I can't, I can't deny that this is fucking bullshit. And I'm sorry that you have to eat this shit sandwich because our fucking customer fucked up. And the customer is always the right. And we have to eat fucking shit sometimes with a smile on our goddamn face. Happy motherfucking Easter. While they sit home on Good Friday with their feet up, enjoying themselves, I am saving their fucking ass. <sighs> I feel great. The sleep just woke up <laughs> all this energy. But I'm not really mad. Like, I got it done. And I'm starting the week behind because we just are out of fucking, we're out of devices. We've been telling them we're going to run out of devices that we're supposed to program to your bank accounts. We don't have the devices to program to your fucking accounts and send you motherfuckers. Can you order us some more? Do they order it? No. So now we're out. And it's going to be just another shit show when they all come in and I got like 10,000 devices that need to go out in one day because we're back ordered. And I want to fucking scream. They don't know how lucky they are to have me. I'm not a manager. I stay late. 
I make sure my shit gets done. I cut corners left and right, but I tell them, I'm like, look, if you want this shit out the door by the end of the day, I cannot do this and this and this. I just can't do it, guys. Time management is just not, I have eight hours. <sighs> I'm not, I, I don't have, su I really don't have superhero powers. I cannot make certain miracles happen. So if you want overall this miracle to happen, this shit has got to go. And most of the time, my assistant manager is like, I don't see shit, I don't say shit, do what you do, thank you, see you later. They handle the front. I, I'm the rear. That sounds so perverted. I'm the fucking rear, bro. And it's a lot, because I don't have a supply person. So I'm supplying my own self for the entire company, and they help me when they can. But even the new people, they come back and just complain. I even told my assistant manager, don't send the new person back. All they do is bitch. Welcome to my fucking world. Nobody wants to do my job. It's hard labor. It's a lot. You have to handle pressure. You have to handle stress. You got to be a... I'm always the motherfucking grunt. Mother fuck. <laughs> I am twice their age. I am twice their age. Even my boss, who's only 28, I'm 39, busting my fucking ass, running circles around people that quit. This is too hard. It's just too busy. Motherfucker. <sighs> Do you want to feel my body for a minute? Here, take my muscles because they're screaming, what the fuck are you doing? We're not 21 anymore, you dumb bitch. Also, take your last break. You keep putting that shit up. Fuck these hoes. Sit down. And I'm like, well, if I take that 15 minutes to sit down, I'm going to be here for another hour and a half. I shit you not. We are short fucking staffed. And somebody took an hour lunch yesterday. We have 30 minutes. Took an hour lunch to do their grocery shopping. Meanwhile, I walked out of the warehouse to do their job so that I could keep up with my own job because they, like, every minute counts when you're short staff. So I'm, like, walking out doing other people's jobs just so that my job gets done on time. I don't make any more than the bitch that took an hour. What am I doing? But this is a... I'm just trying to, like, promote American business. You guys, this is a country that came to us and was like, we want to build a country in America. And I'm like, yes! We need work and good work and good companies, and we need people to trust in America. In America! You know, I stand by my convictions. I'm not just out here voting and, like, oh, I actually live the fucking shit. I want people to come to America. I'm fucking busting my ass, grunt working, so Canada thinks we're worth the shit because America keeps quitting on us because they don't want to work. Nobody wants to fucking work. So how am I supposed to help promote business coming here if all you motherfuckers, this is too hard. This is too busy. Too busy means good business. It means we're growing. Yes, we're growing faster than our fucking employees. And we're getting temps in next week. And it's going to be fine. You just got to be able to bear with some shit. And the little bit of pressure. And people are like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm just going to sit home and get Medicaid or whatever it is they're doing. Why can't I think like that? Why can't I be okay sitting home collecting a check? Because I am sore. It is Saturday. It is beautiful out. I don't want to do nothing but sit here and just be like, ow. <laughs> ow. And I'm so stressed out. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> guys.